guys and welcome to our new series I wanted to introduce you to it before the video begins it's called what is it's quite simple really it it consists of short explanations of common technology and internet terms explained in uh, five minutes or less usually maybe a little more we'll see so today the subject is our ah the subject is DOS attacks or denial of service attacks now, a denial of service attack, commonly called a DOS or DOS attack, aim to, aims to make online services inoperable by flooding the host server of the service with ping requests. Now, you see, when you're trying to use an online service, such as a basic page, blog, a forum, or even a social network, a request is sent from your computer to the server hosting the service. The server then identifies you by your IP address or internet protocol address, and allows you to use the service. To explain what a DOS attack is in simpler terms, we're going to use the mall analogy. Now, let's assume internet is a mall. Websites are shops and stores offering services, and your computer is a customer identified by its IP address walking in the mall. Now, that means that when you open a page, you basically try to enter a shop. And once the page is loaded, you are in the shop. Now, imagine literally thousands of people trying to enter the shop running every second. In that case, nobody can enter the shop anymore. The automatic doors are blocked, the, the shop is flooded, and the doors cannot open and let anyone in anymore. Well, this is basically what a DOS attack aims at doing. It sends a ton of data packets to the target, usually 30 bytes big, and then it floods and makes the target services unavailable to users because, well, they're just, the traffic just explodes and uh, the site is, more often than not, unable to handle all the traffic. Now, although a DOS attack can cause major damage to online platforms, there is another type of attack that's much more dangerous because, you see, a DOS attack is executed from a single machine. That's why it defines it as a DOS attack. But a single machine is not powerful enough to take down a really, really big site such as, I don't know, Facebook, or anything real big. But a distributed denial of service attack, also called DDoS, uses the same techniques but from multiple machines they own or remotely to control of, using RIT tools. Now, there are, however, a number of ways to make these attacks useless and much less effective using authentication systems and captures used by most social networks and distribution platforms to prevent against such attacks. Now, just to finish with an example, a few well-known DDoS attacks targeted the government, such as the Pentagon attack, or huge corporations, such as the Sony and the Microsoft attacks. Now, keep in mind, DOS and DDoS attacks are illegal. Now, thank you guys for watching this What is Number 1. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.